As of 2021, Bill Gates is the fourth richest person in the world, with a net worth of $127.3 billion, so it's safe to say that he has some cash to burn. And today, we'll be talking about just how Bill Gates spends his billions. Investments like any good businessman, Bill Gates has decided to put his money into something that'll give him a good return. And that's to say that he's put quite a bit of change into his investments, and those investments seem to span more than their fair share of categories. From Coca-Cola to AutoNation to Deere & Company to even Walmart LLC, he has his hands in a lot of pies. However, Cascade Investment LLC holds the majority of his financial assets, an entity controlled by Gates solely to manage his investments but also assist others in his financial standings or higher. Though Cascade has been able to put investment or even straight out own Berkshire Hathaway, Canadian National Railway, and Four Seasons Hotels in Mexico, Atlanta, and Houston, Gates also put equity into Branded Entertainment Network, a brand integration and advertising company, and ResearchGate, a social networking site for researchers and scientists. Charity Bill Gates has been around a pretty long time, and he's been a rich man for that same long time. So in that time, he's learned that giving back to the world is extremely important. Important enough that he's reportedly spent $50 billion on charity alone throughout his entire career. And after all, his charity, alongside his wife, also known as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is the largest charitable foundation in the U.S. Now, what charities or charitable causes have they backed? A big one is there are many research grants given in underdeveloped countries. We can't list all the grants, but a few are as follows. Basic health care, malaria control, agricultural research, promotion of development awareness, and basic sanitation. Then, there are all the other organizations that they've directly donated to. Again, the list is exceedingly long, so we can't name them all, but we can still throw out a few. Those are the World Health Organization, especially during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic and in the race for the vaccine research. CARE, UNICEF, PATH, United Nations Foundations, Gave Alliance, and Clinton Health Access Initiative Incorporated. Though not, he spends money on it for others' benefits. Vehicles. As anyone with a healthy disposable income, Bill Gates likes to spend money on things that he likes or finds fun. And one of those things is the vehicles he owns, not only cars, but general vehicles. Because why simply own a luxury car when you can own two Bombardier BD700 Global Express private jets? And also through his membership in NetJets, Gates has owned a fractional share of at least one NetJets plane. Though he doesn't skimp out on his ownership of luxury cars either, and he has quite the collection. A little after Microsoft started hitting off in 1979, he bought a sports Porsche 911, and he would later add a Porsche 930 Turbo, a rare Porsche 959, and recently a fully electric Porsche Taycan. Outside the Porsche name though, Gates has also bought a Jaguar XJ6 and a Ferrari 348. But with all those modes of transportation, he'll need a place to come back to, a home, or two, or even Right above charity, this is where Bill Gates' money truly goes. This is reported to be where he has spent most of his billions, and it shows. His home in the Seattle area is dubbed Xanadu 2.0 after the famous home of the same name from the film classic Citizen K. Unlike the film's house, Gates is an Oceanside Lodge boasting over 66,000 square feet with approximately 500 feet of private waterfront on Lake Washington. The estate features cutting-edge technology that is baked into its six kitchens, 24 bathrooms, and six fireplaces. Nearly every amenity is computer-controlled, quite fitting for the tech mogul. An example of this includes automated lights and music that follows you from room to room. This entire property is reported to cost 125 million US dollars, and in 2019, the property was assessed for 1.04 million dollars in taxes. But this isn't his only property, no. In 2013, Gates took up some property in Wellington, Florida. He bought out a four-bedroom mansion and a horse ranch for $8.7 million. Three years later, in 2016, he bought the adjoining parcel, bringing five properties together for a total of $35.87 million. And finally, he spent another $21 million on a horse farm in 2019, bringing his combined purchases to $59 million for a 30-acre assemblage. This was all in an attempt to give his daughter, Jennifer Gates, a place to help with equestrian activities, something she's quite distinguished in. Though Gates' list of homes doesn't end just at houses, he also bought a private island. He's at least rumored to own the Grand Bouquet, a 314-acre island off the coast of Belize in Central America, the largest island in said country. 
It's reported that Gates purchased the island for upwards of $25 million, though this is alleged. And as of March the 7th, 2020, Bill Gates now has another home under his property portfolio. This is a mansion in the Del Mar that spans 5,800 square feet and comes with 120 feet of beachfront access. This house costs Gates $43 million, but Gates doesn't seem to mind. However, like his other homes, he seems to keep this one a little more private and less known. Maybe this is a true getaway home. Art now, cars and houses are one thing, but where Gates' buying power also shines is in his private collections of art. Reportedly worth altogether, his collection is valued at $130 million, and that tag will only continue to rise in years to come. With the works of Leonardo da Vinci, Andrew Wyeth, and William Merritt Chase, Gates can almost take steps back to the past. Add in pieces from Frederick Child Hazem, Winslow Homer, and George Bellow, and Gates has landed himself in a historian's heaven. Thankfully, he keeps all these precious writings and art pieces in a private 2,100-square-foot library that he keeps in Xanadu 2.0. This same library continues the collective history vibe with an iconic Great Gatsby carved into the ceiling. Even more mysteriously, too, this library contains two hidden rooms, one of which is a private speakeasy for when they need to step away from the reading. However, the other hasn't been described, so we can only guess it might be a secret hideaway for Gates to muse on his ancient collected text in peace. I'm very excited about the choice of Satya Nadella to be the CEO of Microsoft. Microsoft has a long history of innovation, going back to the beginning where the vision of the personal computer was something that Microsoft helped bring to life. Our vision of a platform that software developers could thrive by building on really initiated the entire software industry. We brought forward graphics interface, uh, we took advantage of the internet. Uh, so as the industry changes, we have to innovate and move forward. Satya's got the right background to lead the company during this era. Well, our kids will receive, you know, great education and some money, so then they'll, they'll never be poorly off, but they'll they'll go out and you know have their own career. Vacations. And finally, we come to the most relatable thing that Bill Gates spends his earned billions on. However, when you hear just how much he spends on his vacations, it will be anything but relatable to the everyday person trying to find a special place to unwind. After all, he did originally believe that weekends and vacations are unneeded. We already mentioned Gates' alleged purchase of the Grand Bouquet, and with its clear beaches and obvious privacy away from the rest of the world, it seems like an ideal spot for Bill and his private family members and friends to take some time off. But this isn't the only place. He answered in a Reddit AMA in 2017 that Australia and Brazil were his favorite places to vacation. And since, he has seemed to have stuck to that. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, he's also been trapped in his homes like the rest of us. But maybe once the vaccine helps quell more, he'll be able to once again spend his billions on true relaxation for himself and his family. So, what did you think? If you were as rich as Bill Gates, where would you spend your billions on? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for more content like this. And we'll see you next time.